Philip or Annika, no one will. All anyone cares about in this place are these white privileged assholes. The mayor, the commissioner, the DA, now Thomas and Bruce Wayne. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that psycho's right to go after these creeps. I think he'd be on his side. What do you mean, Thomas and Bruce Wayne? What, he live in a cave? Maybe they're sadists. It's all about the Waynes. Listen, if I can find that dickbag Kenzie, will you help me? Please. Come on, Vengeance. Just don't make any moves without me, understand? It's no more dangerous than you know. Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review. I am so happy that you can join me today. And uh, so in two weeks, we're going to be celebrating the Academy Awards. That's right. Uh, Sunday, March 12th is Oscar night and uh, the host for this year will be Jimmy Kimmel. And on Saturday, March 11th, I will be posting my Oscar predictions. So um, let me give you a, a little explanation. The Batman uh, came out and it was released in theaters in March. So um, I wasn't posting movie reviews um, until June. So I never uh, got a chance to post a movie review for the Batman. So um, since the Batman, has been nominated for three Oscars. Okay, um, I am posting a movie review uh, today. So, um, as I mentioned, The Batman, um, it's been nominated for three Oscars. Best sound design, hair and makeup, and visual effects. So, The Batman was directed by Matt Reeves, and it stars... Robert Pattinson as the Batman, Zoe Kravitz as the Catwoman, Paul Dano as the Riddler, Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon, and Colin Farrell as the Penguin. So, um, just just so that um, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, Paul Dano, who plays the Riddler, he's in the Fablemans, and the Fablemans is also another film that's been nominated for um, a bunch of Oscars this year. In addition to that, Colin Farrell, who plays the Penguin, he is in The Banshees of Inisherin. He plays the lead uh, character in The Banshees of Inisherin. So um, Paul Dano and Colin Farrell, from what I um, remember, they are probably the only two actors who are in two movies that's been nominated for Oscars this year. In addition to three Oscar nominations, I also found out, and this is great news, um, I found out that earlier this month, um, MTV has released some information about the MTV Movie and TV Awards. So, drum roll. Um, the MTV um, Movie and TV Awards will be televised on Sunday, May 7th. So mark your calendars, everybody, because on May 7th, we're about to watch who gets the golden popcorn. The Batman has been nominated for Best Kiss, Best Movie, and Best Villain. Um, the Penguin, played by Colin Farrell. So um, if you guys have watched The Batman, um, clearly you would agree with me that Colin Farrell definitely deserves the, um, the Golden Popcorn nomination for playing the best villain. However, um, Paul Dano as the Riddler was scary, okay? 
So um, I also felt like um, Paul Dano should have been nominated for a Golden Popcorn as well because his performance as the Riddler it was 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 very very scary. Um, so yeah, like that, that. I mean, like in in terms of MTV, they 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 forgot about Paul Dano, but um, Colin Farrell well deserved. Okay, so good luck to him and win the golden popcorn for best villain. So just in case you have not watched the Batman yet, um, I am giving the Batman five out of five stars. Um, what sets this movie apart from the previous Batman films that we have seen is that Matt Reeves decided to make a strictly detective story in which you're following Batman and Commissioner Gordon solve a crime so instead of getting an origin story you're getting um a detective um story um before the film came out uh word got out that the film clocks in at three hours and so some people got nervous because they wanted to know why the film was so long but um you don't feel the three hours you know it goes by pretty quickly and it's just a very tight story and um uh, matt reeves have have done has done a, a fantastic job with uh, making this film. And uh, Robert Pattinson makes a fantastic Batman and also a fantastic Bruce Wayne. And I'm looking forward to them getting back together and working together again for the second um, Batman film in this, um, in this new installment. So um, I'm looking forward to um, to see what what Matt Reeves does next. Um, in addition to that, um, you can watch The Batman on HBO Max, and you can also find The Batman on DVD. Um, I am happy to report that I already bought my DVD, um, and that's all for today, folks. So um, mark your calendars. March 12th is the Academy Awards ceremony and May 7th is the MTV Movie and TV Awards. Have fun at the movies, everybody, and I will see you next time with another movie review. Take care.